Hi there, my name's Harry and I'm a PhD student in Hayes Lab at Imperial College London. Today, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire behaviour, communities and the interface between them. Wildfires are an issue that impact people all around the world. As populations continue to live on the border between wildland and urban areas, and with wildfires continuing to be a problem in many areas of the world, many communities in the Wildland Urban Interface, or WUI, are at risk of approaching wildfires. Often, wildfire services attempt to limit the spread of wildfire towards a community by establishing fire breaks and extinguishment techniques. However, if the wildfire continues to approach the community, firefighting services might have to issue an evacuation order in order to limit the risk to the loss of life of the local population. Now, to understand how a community evacuates safely from a wildfire, there are two timescales to consider. The available safe evacuation time, or ASET, and the required safe evacuation time, or RSET. The ASET time takes into account how long a wildfire takes to reach and start to impact the community. Wildfires are a complex phenomena, including fire regimes such as firewells, firebrands, plumes of smoke, ground level fire spread and canopy fire spread. Wildfire behaviour is dependent on a range of parameters including weather, climate, topology and the type of vegetation present in the local area. As a result of this complexity, wildfires rarely spread in a uniform manner, and without modelling or expertise on the ground, can be challenging to predict when or if they pose a risk to a community. The RSET timescale takes into account how long a community takes to evacuate to a safe evacuation area. Now, Human behaviour poses an equally complex issue. Evacuee behaviour can vary depending on age, culture, education, health, who they live with and where they live. This can impact the amount of time someone may take to start evacuating, how they respond to evacuation orders, how long they take to evacuate, and decisions they make throughout the entire evacuation process. Applying this to a whole community, the evacuation time of a large population can be challenging to predict without fully understanding key influencing factors. In summary, to understand the interaction between evacuating WUI communities and wildfires, both ASET and RSET must be understood and their complexities appreciated. To this end, we're fortunate as researchers, firefighters and people in industry continue to work towards tackling and understanding this problem.